I began my pale headed rosella watercolour painting by wetting the head with some water. I'm using my Da Vinci Squirrel Mop. This is a beautiful brush that holds a lot of water and paint. While the paper is damp I paint some transparent yellow over the top. The water on the paper allows me to take my time and it prevents any hard edge brush strokes from forming. I've dampened the paper here as well and I'm carrying the yellow onto the wing feathers. Later when the yellow is dry I will paint all the markings on the wings. Before the paper completely dries I blot off some of the paint on the head with a tissue to make the head lighter in colour. I dampen the chest area with water ready so that I can paint a wash over the top. I pick up some cobalt teal blue with my brush and I paint that straight onto the damp paper. I allow the water to help disperse the pigment. All I have to do is give it a little push here and there. While the paper's damp I drop in some of the yellow paint and I let the colours merge on the damp paper. When everything is dry, I dampen the next section of the painting with some water. And then I drop in some cobalt blue straight onto the damp paper. Before it dries, I drop in some more cobalt blue, but this time I have more pigment on my brush. I wash in the eye on dry paper. I'm using a finer brush now. I keep the black paint light at first until I establish the correct shape of the eye. Then when I'm happy with the shape of the eye I dry it off so that I can apply some more paint but it's darker this time and I leave a ring around the outer edge of the eye and a highlight off to the side. I allowed the eye to dry and then I wet this section in front of the eye with some water. I'm carefully brushing on some watery black onto the damp paper to create the markings on the feathers there. Then I run some more paint, darker this time, around the outside edge of the eye. I dampened the beak with some water and now I'm painting some cobalt blue onto the damp paper. And I do the same with some Payne's Grey, this time I'm using my fine brush. I soften the colours with just water on my brush. I paint the bottom beak the same way. The paper is damp like before, but I have more pigment on my brush this time. And I use my brush with just water on it to soften the edge of the Payne's Grey. I've dampened the head with some water and now I'm painting some olive green straight onto the damp paper.